Hey, everybody. Back with another creative pep talk. And today I want to talk to you about paying attention. Now, I know that probably the people that have told you to pay attention in the past were teachers or parents or managers. And so it may sound a little bit like, do I have to when I say pay attention? The reason that I say pay attention is that ideas are everywhere. A lot of people will come to me and say, I want to do this creative thing, but I don't really have any ideas. And they, you know, sit and they think for a while and they say, yeah, no, I got nothing. Well, one of the best ways to deal with that problem is to pay attention to what's around you. Because there's always stuff going on around you that could be fodder for something, especially if you take it and you twist it a little bit, you know, you turn it at just the right angle. The way that you first see it may not be quite the same as when you see it the fifth time, you know, or you turn it upside down or inside out, whatever works. But you don't even have to go that far right off the bat. If you go out, especially now that it's warm enough that we can go outside again and sort of be around other people, um, if you go and you listen to people, overhear people who are walking at the park or you know if if you're going to the mall these days listen to people at the mall or if you're on a flight listen to the other people on your flight or sitting at the gate and you'll hear little snippets and you'll hear them out of context and the great thing about hearing them out of context is that you are free to add your own which means that you're going to look at it from a different angle than the person who said it they know what the context is it's just an ordinary thing to them but it's not to you or notice the things that you see. Go out for a walk. Going for walks is a great creative activity anyway. But notice the things that are around you. I had so much fun last spring when I was first stuck at home for the pandemic, walking around my own neighborhood, noticing the trees every single day. There are these great magnolia trees near me. And I would go and I would take pictures and see how they changed every day, the blossoms as they opened. I'd never had a chance to notice that before, and it was gorgeous. Pay attention, because there's stuff going on around you all the time, and that's where so many ideas come from. In fact, there's a great quote from Orson Scott Card. Everybody walks past a thousand story ideas every day. The good writers are the ones who see five or six of them. Most people don't see any. So let your environment inspire you. It doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be bold. It doesn't have to hit you like a bolt of lightning, though it might, even if it's not big and bold. It might. It could be as simple as a first line. That's how my book started. A first line that I adopted finished with a cliche. The first line of my book is the baby had been born with a silver spoon in its mouth. And then I had to challenge myself to figure out what that meant. And where it was going to take me because obviously you couldn't really be born with a silver spoon in your mouth right right couldn't happen i had this conversation with myself for a couple of days and then came the little voice that said but what if you were what would that mean if you were what it opened up an entire world to me that had never existed before the same thing can happen to you if you just go out and pay attention Listen to what other people are saying. Look at the trees. Look at, at art on the sidewalk. Hear what there is to hear. You may get an inspiration from a new song because you happen to hear the right birds on the right day. You never know, but you'll never find it if you aren't paying attention, if you aren't looking for it. You'll just pass everything by like it's the same old, same old ordinary stuff that you've seen a million times before. But have you? I'm gonna bet you haven't. You haven't really looked. You haven't noticed the colors in all of those leaves on the trees before. You haven't noticed the frog that sounds like a rubber band being snapped like I've got back behind my place. <laughs> Pay attention. You'll find so many things to be curious about and that curiosity will take you where you wanna go. So that's your challenge. Until next time, give it a try, see what happens. Feel free to drop me a note online on 
Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, or Tumblr, actually. I'm on Tumblr, too. Um, or send me an email, nancy at fycuriosity.com. And as always, if this is inspiring you and you'd like some one-on-one -on -one help, I do take pr private clients. I am open for private clients right now. So shoot me a note and we'll talk and we'll see what happens. And if you have questions that you want me to answer on one of these little creative pep talks, send them my way in any of those places and I will see what I can do. See you next time.